I'm testing yet another um, recording setup uh, for the microphone. Um, found an app that um, that might make it better. We'll see. Um, trying to do some caving here. Trying to get um, a few more diamonds. I want to uh, want to buy a plot in um, the shopping uh, at spawn. I guess I don't know. I don't know if it's called the shopping district or if it's you know the uh, or maybe just call it spawn. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I want to buy a a, lo a lot over there and set up a shop I don't know if we want to um, set up a uh, enchanting shop I mean I, there's none over there but you know people are probably people are probably, probably pretty established already so I don't know if it would be effective or not I got a little bit of food by the way <laughs> Look, those farms are uh, coming in handy already um, I don't know if, if there would be, um, if there would be, um, a market for it, you know, because most people have already set up, you know, um, but I mean, it may still, it may still be worth it, but I'm pretty sure that there are um, a few new faces on the server. So, um, I mean, I don't know. We, there may be uh, a market for it. But we'll, I mean, I might just set it up and just see, see who bites. Because we might get, um, get something from it. So uh, I'm going to try and get that set up today, and uh, I just need to find a bunch of diamonds. I think um, I think the way they're doing it is it's one diamond block per uh, 100 blocks. Um, so uh, I think probably one diamond block would be enough for the enchanting building. Just because it, it, I mean, it won't be that big, you know. It'll just be the 3x3. The three um, you know, for the enchanter, and then you know, maybe a little building, a little wall around it, you know, and some chests. See it over there. Oh, this is a place I've already been. Oh, okay. Yep, I was just over here like a minute ago. would have completely missed these if I had not come back. I'm going to try to get a fortune pickaxe uh, ASAP. We um, have almost enough bookshelves, almost enough leather to make um, an enchanting uh, room for level 30s. Um, I'm going to try to get that set up pretty quick. So I didn't even know that I forgot I'd forgotten. Um, since we're in a um, mountain biome, uh, I found some silverfish. But I guess they changed it to where pick where um, pickaxes mine silverfish immediately instead of um, you know instead of. Um, slower, you know, like they did in old Minecraft. I was just mining here and suddenly my pickaxe just started just, just blowing through all of it. And I was like, what on earth is going on? <coughs> but I forgot, it's silverfish. <laughs> it's been so long since I um, encountered some in, like in vanilla, you know, survival. 
I guess probably mostly because I'm not, so um, I'm hardly ever in uh, a mountain biome, you know, mining. But I think this cave is about done, so I'm gonna head back. Oh wait, there's, there might be more here. Not a diamond level, which is what I want. Yeah, it's just a little bitty bit here. So, I haven't really made much progress. Found a bunch of iron and, um, and, um, redstone. But, um, not much of the blue shinies. Just found that, that one patch. Ooh, I can't believe I made that. Okay. Just broke into another cave here. Okay, hopefully. Yep, there's some. Okay. And some uh, resistance. Oh dear. Seems the connection is not great. Ah, poor bat. How unfortunate. Looks like a pretty big um, score. I'll just secure the area. So, um, with the might situation, uh, I'm just gonna try a couple different things in the next uh, couple episodes, I think. And, uh, you know, just let me know, you know, if anything jumps out at you as um, sounding better. You know, because um, uh, I want, I mean, I want it to sound um, decent. You know, I just can't help but think it just sounds. Um, I don't, know, I don't know what the word is. It just, just doesn't sound right. <laughs> so I'm trying to find a good, um, a good way to, um, you know, get it, uh, get it good. To get it good, yep. So, um, this time I'm using, um, I'm testing, it is a lot clunkier, the recording setup. Um, I'm testing um, a voice, the voice meter application to just try and clean up the audio a little bit. And I'm recording a separate audio file from the video using Shadowplay to record the uh, video and then voice meter to record the audio. I always have to splice them together in um, the video editor. And we'll see how that works. Uh, this is going to be a lot more work to edit them, uh, which I don't like. See, I do did like before. It was all just one file. So uh, I've been here before. <clears throat> but we'll see. Uh, mm, Trying. <laughs> we'll get it figured out, hopefully. Uh, I may just need to get an, a different microphone. Um, I mean, I just kind of um, didn't really do a lot of research like I should have, but I just needed a cheap microphone for um, something unrelated uh, and just decided well I mean I got the microphone and I'll be you know joining the server so uh, um, I'll just make it into a you know a commentated series you know but uh, didn't did not anticipate uh, these problems because it's like they're not really like they're not problems that a lot of people have. You know, like with the keyboard, 
fuck, it's just so loud. It might, might just be my keyboard, to be honest. Um, it's just so loud. Um, that's the biggest issue. And then this microphone is actually so sensitive. Um, you know, I, I cut it out. I cut out the background noise as best I can for the videos, but um, the microphone will actually pick up the fan, like the idle fan from uh, my computer. It just so if um, I mean, if you listen real closely, you can probably hear just a re very idle, very um, sorry, very uh, very quiet hum in the background that's not from the microphone that's from the fan on my desktop and as far as i know this not really a way to um turn it off not that i would want to anyway but um i think part of the issue is just to set up on my desk i have the microphone sitting right up by the monitor and the desktop computer is actually sitting behind the monitor. The desk is uh, is large enough to to do that. I didn't want to set the the computer on the floor because uh, we have a lot of pets in the house and uh, we get a lot of a lot of dust buildup around here. So um, putting it on the floor it probably would build up a lot of dust. But that may be what I have to do to help um, with the, the background noise. Um, but we'll see, I mean, I may, might should buy a different microphone and try that, maybe, do, maybe actually do some research this time. Because uh, I, I kind of do like this microphone, but uh, it's not it's not meant for this. Like I was saying in a previous episode, I think it's meant for, you know, um, like podcasts, for example. You know, where there's several different recording perspectives in the same room. You know, and it has to pick all of that up. Or, you know, for recording instruments or something where there's a lot of, a lot of variations uh, in the... Um, um, in the audio range all at once, you know. I don't think it's really meant for just, you know, for this, like for just one audio stream, you know, over a, um, over, you, you know, like this, you know. But I can already tell this is going to be a pain to edit. Because uh, I'm going to have to, not only will I have to line up the audio, to begin with, but any cuts that I make, I'll have to cut the audio, the, the bit of the audio out too, and then realign it again, and you know, I'm probably being over dramatic about it, but of course, the other alternative is to. Um, you know, purchase a, um, you know, a background noise, <laughs> uh, app, you know, something that, that'll cut out that background noise, um, but, you know, if I'm gonna go that route, I might as well pay the extra money to buy a new, uh, better mic, you know, I mean, because, uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that, uh, this um, better microphones actually have, you know, uh, systems built into them to cut out background noise. But I'm probably wrong on that. I know I used to have a um, a Bluetooth headset. It was actually for my phone. It was one of those, you know, true wireless earbuds kind of thing. Um, but it actually. I guess it might have had, uh, you know, hardware built into it or something to, um, to isolate voice. 
isolate voices and cut out background noise. It just did it automatically. You know, no software required. Um, of course, the voice quality wasn't that great because it was a, an earbud the size of my fingernail, but that's an example that something like that Um, I wish there was just, you know, free software that could, uh, you know, isolate um, voice in recordings. Oh, goodness gracious. I mean, that would be fantastic. But it does not seem like there is. And if anybody knows of something, please let me know. Because, uh,. We'll definitely use it. But like I said, right now I'm just using voice meter to clean up the audio a little bit and uh, have it as a separate track. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Now, I have not made much progress here. I guess, I mean, we got a good bit of iron, but uh, the blue shinies continue to elude us. I probably need to just go and uh, do much more branch mining because uh, these caves are all too high. They're at uh, oops, 55. Wow, I'm really high. How did it get so high? You know, I could probably just break out to the surface and go run back home. Man, I don't know how that happened. Yeah, look at this, 65. I must I must be in the in the mountain biome. Yeah, I am. So I'm going to uh, head back home and figure that out. Figure all this out. I'm I may go ahead and um go purchase a strip of land and um, spawn for the shop. I'm going to take a look around spawn too and, and see if anything's changed. It's actually been a whole week since the last episode. Uh, I just haven't had any time. Um, my semester finals were um, last week. Um, so that was fun. Um, but uh, I guess we don't need that. Um, so I just didn't have didn't have any time last week, um, but I do this week. So I'm probably gonna might be a longer episode than normal, uh, or I'll split it into two episodes. We'll see how it, how it goes. Um, uh, and, oh wow, right here. Well, that was convenient. <laughs> wow, man. All right. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get organized and go to spawn, have a look around, make a purchase, or well, make a land purchase anyway. Uh, and I'll see you guys in a minute. <coughs> Ooh, somebody got a skeleton horse over here. What's this? Deposit for final shopping. Okay. So he's just selling like... He's not selling any diamonds, is he? <laughs> I sure could use some diamonds for um, other stuff. So, um, uh, I wanted to try to set up somewhere. It's not really a whole lot over here. Uh, 
but I'm not sure if this spot. I'm not sure. I may try to build here. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and put down the payment first thing. So one diamond block for every 100 blocks. So 100 blocks should be enough. Um, what is this over here? Good grief. <laughs> Um, one diamond block should be enough. Throw it on there. Um, so we can either set up over there, uh, or I think maybe over here. This is kind of an open-ish area. But the land is not very even though, it's not very flat. Um, it, but I don't think anybody has set up on that side over there, uh, to my knowledge. But I may do just in case uh, somebody has, but wait to actually build it until next episode. Um, and uh, we'll just leave a sign to see if anybody has claimed it. Um, so, left a note. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, get all the supplies ready and we can set that up next episode. 